All right, we're looking at uh, question number one of the, what is it, 2018 exam paper. I think it's 2017 exam paper, but that's okay. And it's from T House. And uh, they've provided the following information which relates to the financial year ended the 31st of March 2017. Now, I'll give you one bit of advice. Always pay attention to dates, because dates are important. Uh, this is accounting, so we account for dates as well. And what we've been asked to do, I'm just going to go zip down here, prepare a fully classified income statement or a statement of financial performance for tea house for the year ended. Are you so sorry, are you over Haven't you downloaded the exam paper? Yeah, okay. Well, you follow me, don't that's, No, that's not focused. But I can't focus. It is focused. Watch this. I can read. There you go. It's just the quality of the camera. Uh, oh, there you go. All right, let's go. All right. Um, all right, so we've been given a, um, a list of uh, accounts. Some of those will be income statement, uh, but some of them won't, so we need to do that. Um, and we're given some additional information. My additional information relates to a few things. But the first thing I want to do when I go through, an exa uh, when asked to prepare a financial statement, any sort of financial statement, is that I've got to classify. Now when we're classifying for an income statement, it's income and expenses. Uh, but there'll be a few more than that in this one. There'll be current assets, non-current assets, current liabilities, non-current liabilities and equity. So we want to make sure that we're capturing these for this financial statement. So I'll go through and uh, put this in. Let's say accounts payable, you can call them out if you want to. Current liability. Accounts receivable is a current asset. Accumulated depreciation of equipment is a non-current asset. Cash at bank is a current asset. Cost of sales, that's expense. Equipment at cost, non-current asset. General and administration expenses. Uh, well, that's as, as it says, expense. Uh, interest income, well that's income. Interest expense, well it's telling me. Inventory is a current asset. Loan, which is payable on the December 2017, so that must make it a current liability. Marketing expenses are self-explanatory. Prepaid insurance, now that's a current asset. Uh, rent expense, as it says, it's an expense. And we've got sales, which is my income. So the first things we've done is our classifications. Now the only ones we want to pick up from here are, as I said before, my income and my expenses. So, but I'm going to look now at my additional information to see if that's going to change anything of the information up here. And it says my prepaid insurance relates to the 12 month insurance policy that was taken out on the 1st of August 2016. So it's 12 months insurance policy. So therefore I haven't got any insurance expense up here so I now know that I'm going to have to convert some of this into expense and what have I got I've got August September October November December January February March I've got eight months so eight twelfths of this is going to be expense uh, so let's go where's my calculator I've got um, where are we three thousand uh, times 8 divided by 12 gives me $2,000. So 2000 of this is the expense. So I've got $2,000 of that of that's expense. Uh, so that's taken care of that. And it says depreciation for the year ended 31st of March has not been recorded. So we've got a not been recorded here for equipment which is being depreciated using the reducing balance method. Okay, so I'm going to be enjoying that. The reducing balance method, the depreciation rate is 20%. So no depreciation expense in here as yet. So let's make a calculation of what my depreciation expense is. Now if I'm going to calculate that, it's my cost minus accumulated depreciation. times that rate. Alright, so my cost 
is my cost of my equipment is 26,000. Uh, what am I lessing? I'm lessing my accumulated depreciation expense, which is 9,000. Times my 20%, which is right. Is it 9 from 12? Sorry, so ask me again. Is it 9 from 12? 9 from 12. Why would you do 9 from 12 for depreciation? No, for interest. You wrote 8, I think. I'm doing depreciation at the moment. Oh. Okay. Alright, so, um, alright, where was I? So I've got 26,000 minus my 9,000 equals times 0.2, which gives me 3,400. That's my depreciation expense. I've uh, got to remember that when I'm making up my financial statement. Uh, so I've got everything. So now I'm going to prepare my classified income statement. Now, what's the first thing you do when you're doing an income statement or a balance sheet or a cash flow? Title. Title, yeah. So we've got T House. Uh, income statement. Four year ended, 31st of the 3rd, 2017. All right, let's squeeze that in. Yep, 2017. Uh, now, the first thing I put in my income statement is income, or as we've got in this case, sales. Now, what I, before I do that, I'm just going to go tick off all the items that I'm not going to need so that I don't have to go back over and look at those. That's expense. That's non-current assets, expense, interest, income. Okay, there. Current liability. Okay. Now, if 2000 there is good. Okay. So, my first thing I've got here is sales, which is 170000 uh, I can tick that off. And the thing I... Cost of sales is my next, and my cost of sales is up here at eighty thousand. On the cash, do we get a separate booklet to do all these? You get a separate booklet, yeah. Yep. Uh, so that'll leave me with ninety thousand as a gross profit. Now, next thing I need to do is, is there any other incomes? Okay, so my interest income is $1,000. Uh, that's good. Is $1,000. Uh, and that'll give me total income of $91,000. Uh, the next thing I need to do is less my expenses. Less my expense. Uh, now I've ticked off cost of sales. My first expense, I don't care which order you put them in, as long as you put them in, uh, is general and admin. And that's 7500 I got interest expense. Uh, which was one thousand nine hundred and ten. Uh, I've got insurance of two thousand. Uh, what's my last rent expense of forty thousand? Have I missed any? Oh, I have. Marketing expenses. How did I tick that one off? Marketing expense of 17000 Why I ticked that one off early, I'm not too sure. What about depreciation? Ah, good idea. Put the depreciation in. That's another one I'm missing. 
which is 3,400. Ticking off that. My prepaid insurance I've already put in, so I've ticked off that. Um, have I got everything else ticked off? I have. All right, let's just total up my expenses. Uh, 7,500 plus 1910 plus 2000 plus 40,000 plus 17,000 plus 3,400 equals 78,000, 71,810. And therefore, my net profit, net profit. Minus 91,000 gives me 19,190. Done. So that takes care of all that first bit. The last bit, it says briefly explain the difference between depreciation, expense and accumulated depreciation. Um, okay, so B, depreciation, expense. is reported in the income statement reported in the income statement and represents depreciation for the period. Accumulated depreciation is reported in the balance sheet and uh, represents the depreciation for the life of the asset. <coughs> so that gives us, slide all those down, 